Audi takes progressive technology and blends it with everyday usability to create the ultimate electric driving experience. And the new A3 Sportback e-tron is the latest example of Forsbrunk Dirk technique. On the outside, this car looks pretty much like a normal A3, but enhanced with some subtle styling features. Under the bonnet, however, it blends a state-of-the-art TFSI combustion engine with cutting-edge electric technology. Where it differs from other hybrids, though, is that the e-tron can also be plugged in and charged, and can run on electric power alone for short distances, or as a full hybrid with extended range. So, let's take a closer look. At the front, we have this e-tron specific single frame grille. Something you won't have seen on an A3 grille before though, just here behind the Audi rings is the charging point. You just plug in the cable to charge it. And the e-tron comes with both public and domestic charging cables. It can take around two hours to charge the battery when plugged in, or you can charge it while driving. And in electric only mode, it can drive up to 31 miles, which is perfect for the daily commute with a top speed of 80 miles an hour. Add in the TFSI engine, and the vehicle has a total maximum range of 584 miles and a top speed in excess of 130 miles an hour. Offsetting the grille are these all LED headlights, which come as standard. The e-tron also has a specially designed front bumper with two accents on the cover of the air intakes here. Along the side, you can see it's like the normal A3 with this sharp shoulder line that delineates the length of the car and the dynamic line here in the doors to make the car appear lower to the ground. It also has these sports side sills, which really add to the dynamic appearance of the car. Open the rear door and you can see that the e-tron will seat three adults in the back easily. Audi's engineers have positioned the e-tron's lithium-ion battery module under the rear bench seat, so it's well protected for safety and only minimal space compromises have had to be made. Moving to the rear, and the key difference here is the bumper, which was developed specifically for the e-tron and has invisible tailpipes. I mentioned that the batteries were under the bench seat, which means that the maximum boot capacity is an impressive 1,120 litres. On the inside, the e-tron differs only slightly from the usual A3. The first difference is the energy flow screen that helps you manage the battery range and enables you to adjust your driving style accordingly. The instrument cluster shows the power meter and the status of the total system power, drive and battery charge state. You can also choose to show a traditional rev counter for the petrol engine using the MMI. This button here on the center console helps you switch instantly between the four driving modes. The e-tron gives you the flexibility to choose to drive with just the combustion engine, just the electric drive, or in a hybrid mode with both. You can also vary the recuperation levels, allowing you to recharge the battery via engine braking if required, which is great when you may not have had time to refill the battery via the charging point. From a comfort perspective, it's great, with a high level of standard specification like MMI Navigation Plus, Audi Connect and the Audi Advanced Key, which means you don't even need to take your key out of your pocket. The A3 Sportback e-tron is a beautifully designed car that's a significant step towards Audi's vision to be CO2 neutral. For motorists today, it offers the best of both worlds, electric-only driving for shorter, more frequent journeys, and extended range with the highly efficient combustion engine. I hope that's given you a taste of this fantastic car, but for other questions or to take it for a test drive, please do get in touch with your local Audi centre.